Right, so we're here today at Tunnel Barn Farm for the Daiwa Pole Fishing Masters. I'm really looking forward to this event. It's always a brilliant event. It attracts some of the real big anglers. They always come here to fish this event and it's a, an event that I really want to do well in. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm basically just going to give you a breakdown of each day, how I've caught, what rigs I've used and how I've got on on the event. Tom is also going to be going around doing some filming of the fishing so hopefully I'll get a good few clips of that when I'm catching a few fish fingers crossed so follow me through this video I hope you enjoy it and I hope you pick up a few bits fingers crossed we'll get a good result. So starting off today, it's been the first day and I've drew on Canal 9, which isn't a great peg to be honest. Um, I wasn't really happy to be here, not because I didn't feel like I was going to have a good day's fishing, like this lake's fishing quite steady, but the problem is there's a lot of good pegs in your section and obviously on this event you're just trying to win your section, so I weren't too sure I was going to get on. Like pegs 1 and 3, they've been really good pegs lately, um, there's a lot of cover there across and they're a bit wider and they always hold a few more fish so I expected to be fair to really struggle to beat them up there today and that's how it's turned out to be fair. Peg One's won the section, he's had a hundred and about I think 108 pound. Um, Peg Three's had 88 pound and then it's just sort of got worse as we've come down towards this top end. I've ended up last in the section, I've had 63 pounds so I've had a day's fishing and um, I just sort of needed to catch a few extra fish late on really. I've, I've sort of been 10 pound off third in the section which i don't think would have been too bad a result from here today so probably could have caught that but that's just in hindsight i don't think i ever had a chance to be fair on this peg today and um, so just going to run you through my approach when i plumbed up the peg across there is quite shallow so i decided not to set any shallow rigs up i didn't feel like i was going to catch anything shallow in the open water and i didn't have any cover across and it was quite shallow across so i just set up rigs for fishing on the bottom um, so the first rig what I'm going to talk about is my across rig. That's just been for fishing worms across. I've just fed little balls of worms in soil across. Um, and that's been a Preston number 13 Jora slip, which is just nice for when you're catching sort of decent F1s. You don't have to strip too much out the pull and you can just lift them up. This is the elastic I'm using for most of my deck fishing when I'm fishing through my short kits at the minute. I've got an 017 power line main line two number eight back shot just to hold my rig steady i've got an rw muddy float and then i've just got a bulk of number eight shot above a three inch hook length of 014 and a 16 super lwg like i say that's just been for fishing a little head of a worm feeding little bits of worms in peat and i've probably caught sort of 20 pound of fish there today so it's been a decent line it's been steady it hasn't been solid um, I've just had a very odd bite on it through the day and I've been putting, you know, fishing my net while I've been trying to feed me other lines, like my short maggot line and me in my edge line. So the next rig I'm going to talk about is the edge rig. Again, it's around two foot there, so I've decided to fish with worms. Like I fished this late yesterday and I tried to catch on ground bait and maggots and I didn't feel they were right in the edges and across. So I've given worms a go today and I think it's been quite good. Um, like Sam next to me, he's fish worms as well and he's caught 70 pounds, so I do think worms was a good bait choice. This is on the same elastic, 13 Jora slip, 017 main line again, 2 number 8 back shot, but this time I've got a 4x12 Maggie float. And the reason I've gone for this float is because it's a little bit deeper down there, so I just need a bit of a longer float, it's sort of just over 2 foot. And again, I was just fishing worms on this rig. I've just shotted that with a bulk around 4 inches away from the hook. And an 014 hook length again and a 16 Super LWG hook. And how I've been feeding this through the days, I've just been loose feeding a few casters down there. It's around top six away from me, just in front of the reeds. And then when I've got in there, I've just potted little balls of worms in peat. And I've caught sort of probably around eight fish on that line, but they've been decent stamp F1s. Like the fish I've caught across have been a lot smaller than the fish I've caught down the edge. So it's been well worth fishing down there. I've probably had about 20 pound down there as well in only eight fish and um, so good line on the day i just feel like i wish i had a little bit more cover in the edge there's only a tiny little set of reeds there i think like at the minute most of the fish are just hugging cover so that's you know a key thing is to fish near the cover and that's where i've had a lot of my bites today and then the final rig i'm going to talk about is my maggot short rig and now this has only come good literally the last 20 minutes, but I've had two cart there and sort of three or four F1s right at the end. So 
Again, it's been well worth feeding it. I've just fished it around, top kit in two, and I've just loose fed maggots through the day, and I didn't see, you know, catch anything on it through the day, and then literally with 20 minutes to go, I've started getting some bites, there was an odd blow coming up, and some fish turned up. So it's important to keep feeding your lines. I've got, again, 13 Jura slip, 017 main line, two back shot, but because it's a little bit deeper down there, sort of four foot, I've stepped up to a four by 14 Maggie. And the shotting pattern is just a bulk of number eights and two number 10 droppers above a four inch hook length of 014, a size 16 Super LWG hook. So overall on the day, like I say, I've been last in section, but I've had a day's fishing 63 pound. All I'm gonna be looking for now over the next two days is trying to get you know a decent weight and try and frame overall in the match. That's going to be my aim now, try and have two good days. I don't feel like I've fished too bad a match today. I've just not been on the peg capable of winning you know, the section. It's just been really frustrating, but that's fishing. You're always going to get times where you draw you know, not so good pegs. You've just got to make the most of what peg you're on. Um, so fingers crossed tomorrow is going to be a bit of a better day. I think Newpool's fished quite well today, so I wouldn't mind a peg on Newpool. I think there's been quite a few tons on there. I think a few people caught shallow. So fingers crossed for a better day tomorrow. Right, so today's the second day of the pole masters. Yesterday I was on peg nine on canal and I had a bit of a struggle coming last in section with 63 pound. Um, struggled most of the day. I caught, did manage to catch a few fish though late on fishing with worms in the edge and also with maggots short. So today I've drew peg 23 on canal, so back on this lake again. Um, looks a lot better today. Like yesterday on peg nine, I didn't have any cover across in the edge, no reeds or nothing like that. Whereas today, both in the edge and across, I've got some nice reed beds and I think I'm gonna get a few more bites here today. Um, so my approach is going to be mainly fishing with worms, so in my edge to my right, and maybe across to the reeds, but I'm hoping today, with I've got a decent depth against them reeds, I'm hoping to catch them shallow with casters, so fingers crossed I'll get a few more bites. I'm going to be quite positive today because I've got nothing to lose now after yesterday, um, sort of coming last in section. I don't think I'm going to be able to frame sort of overall in the festival, even if I had two wins now. So what I'm going to be going for is sort of the overall money, sort of framing in the match. So I need to catch a big weight today if I'm going to do that. So being positive, casters across, worms down the edge and maggots short. Fingers crossed that, you know, I do enough on the day and I can sort of get into the overall money. Right, so we're here on the second day of the pole masters and I've drew peg 23 on canal. So back on canal again. It's actually the third day in a row that I've drew on canal, but I was quite happy to be here today because 
I felt like I'd started to learn a bit about the lake. Like yesterday, I worked out that worms was quite a good bait. And also I felt like yesterday that there was quite a lot of fish to be caught on this lake. Like I was last in section with 63 pounds, which is still quite a good weight on the day. So I was really happy to be back on this lake. And one thing about this peg, peg 23, is it had a lot more cover than the peg I was on yesterday. Like across, I've got two nice reed beds. I also have one in my right hand edge and it looked really good. And also I'm opposite peg one, which was a peg that had a good weight yesterday, 108 pound on peg one. So I knew there was some fish up this end of the lake. So I actually really fancied it for a good day. And as it's turned out on the day, I've actually had a brilliant day's fishing. I've decided to fish really positively. I just set up to fish in three lines. I've fished my right hand edge with worms to start with. I've had a nice steady start to the match, catching sort of 10 or 15 pound, just potting little balls of worm in peat and just dropping it in from a bit of a height to try and make a cloud, to try and attract the fish in. And then when there was a few fish in my peg, I've just dropped it from a bit close to the water to try and sneak it down and get the fish on the hook. That's been really good and I've had a good start on that line. And then later in the match, what I've been doing while I've been fishing down that edge, I've just been priming up my shallow line to across to the reeds, just loose feeding casters. And I've just wanted to try and give that as long as I could, because I did expect that to be my main line. So I probably fed that for around an hour. And then when I went in on it, it was quite steady and I've caught on that line for probably a good three, three and a half hours of the match. And I've basically just been pushing it as tight to the reeds as I could and just fishing between 12 and 18 inches deep, pushing it into the reeds, loose feeding casters, giving it a few taps every now and again, lifting and dropping and just alternating my depth. And I've just caught steady away, some little F1s, some nice big F1s and a couple of little carp as well. And I've had a really nice match catching on that line. But then also what I've been doing, because the last couple of days I've had a good run late on fishing maggots short, I've just been throwing some maggots at a top kit and two, just at the base of the slope in the deep water and I've just threw maggots there all day and I was hoping to catch on that late on. I was hoping not to have to go on it, I was hoping that my shallow line would stay good but what actually happened on this like late on is it went really bright and as soon as it went bright and it went sunny and the sun broke through the clouds the actual shallow fish disappeared and it was the same for Dave who's been opposite me so I needed that other line I'm glad I still fed it even though I was catching well across and I have dropped in short there late on and had a decent run and I've even had a nice big carp around six or seven pound there at the end so well worth feeding that line and it's worked again for me really well today so really happy to have won the match 124 pound a great day and hopefully tomorrow I'll draw another good peg and it'll give me a good chance of sort of winning the match or framing again because that's what I've come here to do you know after having a last yesterday I knew I wasn't going to sort of win the festival or framing the festival overall so I was just coming to try and you know getting the overall money on the day and luckily I have managed to so really happy with that. What I'm going to talk about now is I'm just going to talk about the rigs that I've used and each different one and what I've used them for. So firstly talking about the shallow rigs, I've set a couple of shallow rigs up today because I was fishing across to the reeds and it's quite sort of probably three and a half, four foot against the reeds. I didn't need a massive amount of shallow rigs to cover the depths. They generally sit from sort of half depth upwards. So my deepest rig's been around 18 inch. And I've also had one for fishing sort of 12, 14 inch deep as well. And I've just been able to move them about. So starting off with the main shallow rig, I've got an 11 jaw of slip elastic, a bit lighter than on my other two rigs. And just so that when I hook a fish, and they swim out the peg. They're not disturbing the other fish in the peg. They just glide out the peg, lovely. I've got an 017 main line. I've got an RW dibber float, a number two, and that just takes two number 10 shot, which I place above my three inch hook length. And then I've got a size 16 Super LWG for fishing with a banded caster. And now that's been key today, fishing with a banded caster, picking a nice big caster out, a nice uh, sort of dark colored caster. That's definitely been better than like a lighter colored caster today and just pushing it into the reeds. It's been brilliant, just giving it a few taps every now and again and loose feeding casters. And I've caught really well on this rig. But something else is just important is to talk about is make sure you do have a couple of shallow rigs because obviously here at Tunnel Barn, there's a four inch lash limit between your float and pole. So you do need a couple of shallow rigs so that you can cover your depths because obviously you can't go any closer to your pole tip than four inch. So that's one thing that's really important. So I did set two up, like I say, one around a foot and one around 18 inch. So then my next rig I'm going to talk about is the rig for fishing maggots short. 
Um, very similar to the rig I used yesterday. Um, it's a very similar depth, probably a little bit deeper here, maybe about six inch deeper. So I've used a 13 Jura slip, which is the same elastic I was using yesterday. Perfect for when you're fishing on the bottom for these decent fish. 017 main line, two number eight back shot, a 4 by 14 Maggie float, going down to a bulk, a number eight, two number 10 droppers, and a four inch hook length of 014 and a size 16 Super LWG hook, which has just been for fishing with two or three maggots. And what's been best on that line today is just loose feeding a few maggots when I've not been fishing it. And then when I've gone in, I've just potted it with a medium cad pot just to tighten it back up. And then I've had some nice clean bites and some decent fish on that line. So it's been a really good rig on the day and well worth having for that last hour when the shallow line died. So then the last rig, is the worm rig for fishing down the edge. Again, very similar to the rig I used down the edge yesterday. It was a very similar depth, just over two foot. And I've used a 13 jaw of slip elastic, 017 main line, two number eight back shot, four by 12 Maggie, like I say, just for fishing in two foot. Going down to a little bulk of number nine shot, and then a three inch hook length of 014 and a size 16 Super LWG hook. And all I've fished on that line is sort of an inch and a half piece of worm and I've just fed with a medium pressed and soft cab pot with a little ball of uh, peat and all I've been doing is dropping it from a bit of a height when I needed to draw some fish in or just sort of sneaking it in every time there's a few fish in my peg and that's worked really well. Like that worm definitely is a good bait on this lake. I know um, I spoke to a lad Les who's been on peg seven today and he was going to fish worms and I think he's had a quite a good day on that bank so I think worms is the key bait on this lake at the minute. So overall really happy to have won the match today. I had a really nice day's fishing and um, looking forward to tomorrow now. Fingers crossed I can get another peg that gives myself a chance of sort of um, pushing up into you know the overalls. Um, I know there's a few lakes that are fishing quite difficult like Top Club and Jenny's you know there's some low weights but you know, a lot of the other lakes, there's some good weight, 100 pound weights winning lakes and stuff. So there might be quite a few pegs that give yourself a chance of getting in the overall frame. So fingers crossed that it goes well tomorrow and I'll catch up with you after the match tomorrow. So today's been the last day of the Pole Masters Festival and I've drew peg 25 on top. And like I said at the end of yesterday's conclusion, I didn't want to be on this late because it's been fishing really difficult. And obviously after the last on the first day, I was only really looking for sort of framing place in the match. Like winning a section was no good really. I needed to try and frame in the match to win some money. So I was a bit disappointed, but I'd still come to my peg and you know set all my kit up and try my best to get the most out of the peg. Um, Talking about this section, all week it's actually been one off peg 33, which is in the other bowl of the lake. And it sort of had 60 pound both days. So I expected that peg to sort of dominate this section. Like the weights that have come off this peg over the last two days, Andy Bennett was on it on the Monday, he had 22 pound. And yesterday it only had nine pounds. So it's been fishing really hard. It was a tough area. But like I said, I was just trying to come and get whatever I could get out of the peg. So um, in terms of the approach on the day, um, with it being quite warm, it's been quite bright. I did expect most of the fish to want to be in the cover again. So in the edges, I expected. I can't actually reach the island across. It's a real long way, sort of 20 odd meters. And with it being the Pole Masters Festival, uh, we don't have the option of chucking a rod out or anything like that. So I expected in the edges to be sort of my best bet. Um, I've got a nice edge to my left there, to be fair. I've got two decent sort of reed beds and I've got a nice little cut in where it's around two foot. So I plumbed up to fish there with worms. Again, just feeding that little um, balls of peat in, um, with some worms in. I've also threw some maggot short because obviously on canal pool the last couple of days, maggot shorts come good for me late on. So I thought I'll do the same. And then I also did feed a caster line long, hoping to catch shallow, but I had a deck rig over the top as well. Um, and as it's turned out, I've basically caught uh, two fish long on the bottom on worms, 
uh, one fish short on maggots and everything else I've caught in the uh, left edge, mainly so a little stocky F1s and a couple of skimmers and just odd you know, bits and bobs. It's been really difficult days fishing, um, but I've ended up with 27 pound, which has been second in the section, and I've been beat by 33 as expected. He's had 60 odd pound. Don't think I ever could have caught that. Um, there's just not been enough fish in this area, but I'm happy enough with second. I think I just got out of the peg what I could have got. So I'm just gonna talk through the rigs um, that I've used anyway. So the main two rigs have been the rig for fishing short and long. It's been exactly the same depth, around five foot. So I was able to use the same rig, which was handy. So that rig was 13 jaw slip, 017 mainline, two number eight back shot, four by 14, RW Maggie, like I say, it's around five foot, so I found that was about spot on. There's been no wind today, so no real need to go any heavier than that. Going down to the shotting pattern, same shotting pattern I always use in the deep water. Bulk of number eight shot, two number 10 droppers, four inch hook length of 014, a size 16 Super LWG. As you can see, all my rigs this week have been dead simple. They've all been very similar, and I just like to keep all my rigs very simple so I know what I'm using, you know, these floats are the floats what I've used pretty much all week. And then the worm rig is a bit deeper down this edge. Like I've been, when I've been on canal, it's been sort of two foot in the edge. Um, so I've been using a 4B12 float, whereas today I've decided to use a 4B14. I've gone for the dink float. Just, you know, I just wanted to sort of fish with a bolt down rig and just drop it straight down. So I've got um, 13 Jora slip again, 017 main line, two number eight back shot, 4x14 dink float and that's just shotted with a bulk of number 8 shot above a 4 inch hook length of 014 a size 16 Super LWG and again that's just for fishing sort of little heads of a worm on the hook and just feeding sort of little balls of worms in peat and that's been my best rig today I've caught you know odd fish on that all through the day kept dropping on it and getting one or two bites and having to rest it but in the end overall I've ended up with um, 8 points I think I've had um, so don't think I've ever had the chance of sort of framing in the festival. I'm not too sure who the overall sort of how everyone else has got on. I know that Mitch Davison's on three wins, Matty Dawes is on three wins, Jack Danby and Steve Barraclough. So when I catch up with you later for the conclusion, I'll talk you through, you know, obviously who's won. Um, but that's been my festival. I hope everyone's enjoyed it and learned a few bits. Um, and I'll speak to you a bit later when we know sort of how everyone's got on. Right, so that's the end of this year's Daiwa Pole Fishing Masters here at Tunnel Barn. Like, as you've seen from the way it's fished, some of the weights, it's fished a lot more difficult than you've expected this year. You know, I think the weather that we've had this year, it's been a bit up and down, as you've seen, you know, in all my other blogs that I've been doing, I've been talking about it a lot, how the weather and how sort of the air pressure and that has really been affecting the fish. I think oxygen levels are lower at a lot of fisheries and the fish just aren't really wanting to feed. Um, there's still been some good weights as you'd expect at Tunnel Barn but there's been a lot of very patchy areas so looking back at my festival I think I've ended up about 40th in the festival which after the first day obviously coming last in section I have managed to pull myself back up and um, obviously I've had a great day on the second day catching a nice weight of fish shallow managed to win the match so that was good um, I think it's really illustrated the point that one of the key things on this festival has been having some cover for the, to fish up to so any reeds that's been where all the fish have been hanging out they've just not wanted to feed they just back off where they feel safe and fishing in and around the cover that's been the key as it has been at a lot of venues at the minute it's really strange fishing at the minute there's not been a lot of fish in the open water at all um like me peg today on on uh, 25 on top that's normally quite a good area of the lake um nice and wide and normally when you know the fish are feeding you can catch some good fish there but today it's just been dire you know 27 pound and um, all it's about, I think, on these sort of vessels is just trying to get the most out of your peg. And I feel like I probably have done over the three days. So I finished on eight points. I think I needed five points to get into the frame. And I just don't think I could have done that off the pegs I was on. So looking back, I couldn't have done any more. So I'm quite happy with how I fished this festival. Overall in the festival, Mitch Davison's managed to win it. As I say, he's had a perfect three point score. So massive well done to Mitch. There's also been quite a few other lads on three points. I think Matty Dawes was second with slightly less weight. 
Steve Barraclough third and Jack Danby fourth. They've all had three points, which is mega on this festival. The way it's fishing and the standard of angler to all have three points. So massive well done, lads. I'm going to book on again next year. I love this event. I'm definitely going to be coming back. Hopefully next year the weather's a bit more settled and the fishing should be brilliant. Like normally, as you know about Tunnel Barn, you know, you need 150, 160 pounds just to be winning sections. It's normally brilliant fishing. So next year, I'm sure it'll be fishing its head off. So another great week at Tunnel Barn. Looking forward to next year. And I hope everyone who's watched this video has enjoyed it, picked up a few tips. And I'll see you next time for another match winning blog.